Hello, again, this is Dr. Armand. We're going to be talking about uh, how to look up certain structures on the web CSD. So as you're working on your experiment seven post lab questions, some of the questions ask you to look up particular structures on the web CSD and answer questions based on those structures. So in this lecture, I'm going to discuss, you know, some of the basics and how to look up these structures to assist you when you're doing your exercises. So we'll go ahead and get started today. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. And so I've brought up the web CSD page. So on, on a few questions, you have to draw acetyl salicylic acid. So on one uh, type of question, you have to draw acetyl salicylic acid. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then on another question, you have to draw acetyl salicylic acid with a metal. I'll give you a few tips on that as well. And then finally, we'll talk about looking up a ref code, which is a simple search. So we'll go ahead and get started today on uh, drawing acetyl salicylic acid. So this is how to draw. So here we're just looking up acetyl salicylic acid. So no metal here, just acetyl salicylic acid. And you need to include the hydrogens on everything. So the first thing we're going to get, we're going to click on is the phenyl ring or benzene ring, as we talked about in the experiment eight lab lecture earlier today. And so let's click on that. And you just click and drag here. Next, we want to add, add are some single bonds so we're going to click on this drop down menu here and pick single bonds click single bond and we're just going to start adding the framework of acetyl salicylic acid so all i'm doing is adding Bonds. This is like the, the 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 basic acetyl salicylic structure. Now we're going to start adding the different atoms. First, we want to add is oxygen. So let's add those. Next are hydrogens. And so you'll notice here, there was no oxygen put on the hydrogen. So what we can do is if we erase that and then act like we're going to put on a carbon group like that. Now, when we go back, it puts it as an OH. So let me show you again. So we erase that bond. We come here, click on carbon. When you see carbon have this CH3 like this, when you put an OH on it, it's going to give it when you put, excuse me, when you put an O on it, it's going to make it OH. So now we click O, we get an OH. The same thing over here. Let's put, oh, I forgot an O there. Made a few mistakes. This needs to be a carbon like that. So that looks good. Don't worry at the end here, it's understood that there's three hydrogens at the end. So now we're ready to search for just acetyl salicylic acid. Now always make sure that you put the substructure because if you don't, you may not get the correct hits. So let me clear these and now we're ready to search the database. So we click search. And searching through the entire database for acetyl salicylic acid. Now it's going to get hits that don't uh, 
necessarily just have only acetyl salicylic acid, it has other things as well. So for example, ACSALA is acetyl salicylic acid over here to the right. Now if we scroll down, if we click on this one, this one is not acetyl salicylic acid. So what you have to do is you have to scroll through all of these and count all the ones that are acetyl salicylic acid. And what you have to make note is, when you're looking for the earliest one, you have to look at the publication date. So again, when you're looking for the earliest one, look at the publication date. So you go through each structure and look for the publication date, which is right here. This one was made in 2002. So it's under associated publications. Again, you look at the publication date to get the earliest article. Do not look at the deposited on. That's incorrect. You look at the association associated publications and then find the one with the earliest date. So you have to scroll through them and see which one has the earliest date. And then it also contains the author, the journal, can't draw today for some reason. The author, the journal, that's even worse. Let's see. Author, journal, and of course, page number. So again, for one question, you'll have to look to find the earliest uh, structure of acetyl salicylic acid. So you go through, look at all the different publication dates. The one with the earliest publication date is the, is the uh, earliest crystal structure of aspirin. So that's how you do one type of the question on experiment seven post lab. So let's clear all drawings. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back. And I'm going to show you how to do it with a metal. So now when you want to search for your metal, you don't want to have hydrogens on it. So we're going to take off all the hydrogens. And so here if we just select oxygen, it just puts an O. So again, all I did was select oxygen, click and drag, it puts an O. So let's, let's undo that. So you just click oxygen, make sure this says single bond click and drag, you get an O. So when searching for a metal in acetylsalicylic acid, this is what it looks like. So this is for searching with a metal and acetyl salicylic acid. Also, do not attach the metal. So it needs to look like this. So again, you use the six membered ring, the benzene ring here, Oops. so we use the benzene ring, and then we select single bonds and add all the different bonds for the rest of the seal salicylic acid. Now we're going to use a metal. So just for this exercise, I'm going to use sodium as an example. So for this example, and so again, all you do is you come here and you click the periodic element chooser. You click your metal, so for this, I'm going to pick sodium. In the question, it'll tell you which metal you're going to use. And so now we're ready to, and make sure, again, it's on substructure search. That's what we always want to do is a substructure search. Do not it do exact search. Now we're going to clear all this out so we can do our search.
So we scroll down, click search. And so it's gonna look for all the structures that have sodium and acetyl salicylic acid. Now you need to check all of them because sometimes it'll get a little confused and there'll be structures that don't have acetyl salicylic acid, it has something else. So what you need to do is determine the, the total number of structures with acetyl salicylic acid. It can have other things, but it has to have acetyl salicylic acid. So again, it can have other ligands, but has, but, hmm, but is mandatory So if something doesn't have acetyl salicylic acid, you can't use it, you don't count it. They have to have acetyl salicylic acid and they can have other things as well. So let's take a look at sodium. So sodium came back with two hits. So these are the ref codes for the two hits, P-I-K-Y-O-A and U-T-U-C-I-W. And so if we look over here, it does have acetyl salicylic acid shown here. And here. And so a question may ask, you know, how many acetyl salicylic acids are coordinated to the sodium? In this case, there are two acetyl salicylic acids coordinate to them. So two the metal. So that's a typical question. It may also ask what year was this article? What's the earliest uh, crystal structure of sodium acetyl salicylic acid? So again, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down. You're going to look at the publication. So this one was published in 2018. So let's look at the other one. And let's see when it was published. And so on this one, acetyl salicylic is in the structure but it's not coordinated to the metal. So this over here, this is acetyl salicylic acid. And there's no metal, the acetyl salicylic acid is not coordinated to the sodium. So here there would be no uh, acid coordinated to the sodium. Now if we scroll down, we'll check the associated publication date. And this one is, Two thousand and eleven. So this would be the earliest crystal structure of sodium, a crystal structure with sodium and acetyl salicylic acid. And so again, that ref code was UTUCIW. And then here is the journal, Journal of Science. It's a very popular journal, very good journal to publish in. Here's the authors, etc. And so again, that's what you're going to do when you look up your metal and acetyl salicylic acid you see which how many have those two components second is which one's the earliest crystal structure so you look at the associated publication date you may need to know the journal or the author sometimes it may ask what's the space group so for the space group you scroll down and here it tells you the space group of the structure. So it may ask that, you just put in the 
If it says number, you would put 217. If it said the form, you say I4 bar 3M or I4 3M. So different questions ask you different things, but that's how you research your metal and acetylsalicylic acid. Lastly, I want to show you how to do a ref code search. So if you want to do a ref code search, you're going to do a simple search. So again, simple search is to search a ref code. So on some questions, it may give you a ref code and say, oh, find this structure. So then you do a simple search for search for ref code, simple search. So let's do that. So we're gonna click on simple search. And again, if you're off campus, you may have to log in with your ABC123 and password to access the WebCSD. And so for simple search, we're gonna do, we're gonna add an identifier. So the identifier is the ref code. So in the question, it'll tell you the ref code in some one of the questions or two of the questions. And so you're gonna type the ref code here for identifier. And so I'm just going to use a ref code that I've picked, and the ref code is E-N-W-I-C. And sometimes it's numbers, or it can just be letters, and this one is just letters, no biggie. And so now we're going to scroll down, and we're going to do search. And it's going to search for that ref code. And so it found the ref code. Again, it may ask, when was this article published? So you would scroll down to Associated Publications. It tells you the publication date. This was published in 2013. This is the journal, usually it's in italics, Christine.com. And these are the authors shown here. So again, from associated publication, you get the publication date, 2013 for this example, the journal, Christian.com, et cetera. Again, it's under associated publication. Now we scroll down again, here's where you can find the space group. If it asks for the space group, it may not, it just depends on the question. So the space group is located right here. And this is how you do a ref code search. So it's a simple search. So that concludes today's lesson over how to use the WebCSD to, to assist you in looking up structures of acetylsalicylic acid, acetylsalicylic acid and metal and a ref code. So if you like the video, make sure to click the like link. And if you learn something new, you know, leave a comment and also click the like link as well. Until next time, it's Dr. Armand signing out.